Hello and welcome. So in this video I want to share five pretty awesome Jupyter notebook features with you. Let's get right into it. So the first one is the multi-line cursor. Therefore let's take an example. Let's say you have five print statements with a typo here. So we're just copy pasting that here. And now to make the right amendments you could use the multi-line cursor by just pressing Alt and then just pull it down here. On Mac systems you are pressing Option and pull it down. And then I can just go to the Y here and get rid of that. And I could also add stuff here. So I found out about this feature after like one and a half years of Jupyter usage and it was kind of life changing for me. So I hope the same is true for you. Next one is running notebooks inside other notebooks. Maybe you're asking yourself, well, why should I use that? I'm giving you two possible examples. Maybe you have to find a whole workflow in another notebook and you don't necessarily want to see the whole workflow in your current notebook, but you need variables or results out of this workflow in your current notebook. Another example would be that you have confidential information in the other notebook and you just want to get access to the variables containing the confidential information in your current notebook. For example, API keys, passwords and so on. So, Nevertheless, let's just do that. So let's open up a new notebook here, which is called Untitled 7 here, right? Very creative. So we are defining X as one inside this notebook and saving this notebook. Now, in this notebook, X is not defined here, right? But if we are running Untitled 7 in this notebook, X will be defined. So let's use run, define the name of the other notebook IP, Y, and B, and run that. And now let's print out X, and you see X is one. Next one is to change the theme of Jupyter. Therefore, you need to install Jupyter themes, and afterwards open up your terminal, and type in yt-t, and here you have to specify the theme name. So there are a lot of themes. Be kind invited to check them out. I'm taking Monokai here, it's my favorite one. So press that and then start Jupyter Notebook again. And now, as you see, we are getting this fancy theme here, right? So let's check that out. So now we have some more fancy colors here. Pretty nice, right? Next one, auto-completion. A very useful and helpful feature is auto-completion. So let's take an example for that. Let's say we have a list here, and now I wanna append items to this list. I can use x.a and then just press the tab key, and you see the word is getting auto-completed. What I can also do with that is just press x dot and then use the tab key and now we see that I'm getting an overview of what I can actually do with this list. So this is very useful because you can also apply that to libraries. So for example, we could use pandas and now we use pd dot read then press the tab key and now we see we can read csv, we can read excels, we can read JSONs and so on. So it's actually pretty nice to get an overview and also to speed up your coding, right? Last but not least, use Markdown and LaTeX for a better notebook structure. If you've watched my other videos, first of all, you're a great person, thank you. And secondly, you might have noticed that I'm using that pretty often. So right now, this cell is a code cell defined here. But I can also transform that to a Markdown cell and just define text values here. Right, hello for example. And I can even enlarge that by using hashtags or hashes, right? But I can also use LaTeX code inside here when this is defined as a markdown cell. So let's take an example. I wanna have the symbol for sigma. So I'm using sigma. And now you see that I'm getting this mathematical symbol here. So if you are working with formulas, this is very good to show what is actually happen happening in the next field of code if you are doing some yeah, mathematical-based coding. 
so people can better follow along. And yeah, that's it for this video. I hope these features were helpful. In case they were, please be so kind supporting this channel by subscribing and liking the video. Thank you very much in advance and I'm looking forward to seeing the upcoming videos. Bye bye.